Hello everyone and welcome to another How Lou Sees It review. Today I am reviewing a game called Nada. Match, Snatch, and Win. It is a game uh, published by Blue Orange Games and uh, pretty excited actually. This is my first Blue Orange uh, game that I'm uh, reviewing. I will be reviewing another game uh, here shortly as well uh, called Longhorn. Uh, but today I'm reviewing this very light, simple, easy to learn and play dice game. Uh, it is for uh, two to four players and is less than 10 minutes to play. Uh, the packaging uh, for this game originally you will come in this nice uh, little box, but really I'm just going to uh, chuck this after this review because the dice game. Uh, all the dice come in this nice little orange uh, mesh bag. Uh, the bag is is great. It's uh, good quality and uh, just going to store the game in there. Uh, it comes with 36 uh, dice with that travel bag and these instructions. Uh, the instructions are double sided and fold up and uh, fit into the bag as well with the dice. Um, the game is very, very simple. The um, game, as I mentioned, was comprised of 36 dice, um, and you got half of those are orange and half of those are white. Uh, well, orange with uh, white uh, pictures on it, and then you have white dice with orange pictures on it. There are a total of 12 different images that the game has on the different dice. Um, a cactus, a skull, ghost, crown, flower, rabbit, a shark, a foot, a palm tree, a cherry, um, an anchor, and a rocket. Okay, and these are uh, on all the different dice um, in different, um, like as far as I know, I haven't looked at what the faces are on each dice, but the dice are all different. They have all these 12 different images mixed up on all of the different dice. So to play the basic game what you're going to do is it's going to comprise of three rounds and you start by taking six orange dice and six white dice and you take all the dice and you're going to roll them all at once and then the players are going to search for a symbol appearing on at least one orange and one white die. So you roll that. So as you can notice, uh, right off the bat I noticed two palm trees. So that's a match, right? But they would have to be, I'm looking for a match on a white one and an orange one. So I don't see that. I also see two orange rabbits, but I don't see an orange rabbit on here. Now there is a match here. There is a cherry on the white die and a cherry on the orange die. So in that case, um, you're going to shout out basically what the matching symbol is. Uh, so I would shout out cherry and then I would be able to take all of the uh, dice that are showing that symbol. So I would take these two. Now if there were multiple ones, so let's say that I happen to roll that. I would still call out cherry because I do have one of each. But instead of just getting these two, I actually get these as well. So that was be four dice. And then you take all the remaining dice and you roll again. So very, very simple. The next thing that you need to know is if there are no matches. So in this case, there is uh, no mat. There are no matches here. We have again the two sharks, but we don't have a shark on the white. Um, so no matches here. Then in that case, the player shouts out Nada, the name of the game. Nada, and they actually get all of the dice. Okay, very rewarding. Now there is a penalty. So let's say the dice, uh, let's see here, the dice showed that. Okay, and someone yelled Nada. Obviously there is a match though. The penalty there is basically the person's going to sit out around and so the other person would be able to roll the dice 
and uh, not under any sort of time limit would be able to look at the dice. In this case, they would be able to shout flower and they would get those two dice. Um, so there's a little penalty there. Um, but yeah, that is the entire game. Now, if you get down to the fact that, let's say, the dice are taken that way and it leaves just orange dice or you, you're left with just white dice. Um, in that case, you're going to just take those remaining dice and discard them, put them out of the way, out of play, and then you're going to go ahead and grab new set of six of each color and go from there. So the that's the basic game. The person with the most dice uh, collected at the end of the game wins. Now there is a few other variants. Um, I'll just explain the other variant that I uh, like. And uh, the other thing with this game is you can kind of create your own games as well. And so that's pretty fun. But the secret variant, uh, secret throw variant, is kind of a fun way to play as well. So in that case, what you do is you're going to uh, take all of the dice, draw them from the bag. So you can kind of make this uh, randomized. You're going to put them in the bag. Then players are going to draw out a certain number of dice according to how many players. So in a two-player game, a person would draw 16 dice. Um, in a three-player game, 12. In a four-player game, you would only draw eight dice. So let's say you're playing a four-player game. So each player, well, let's do a two-player. So each player would take 16 dice each. And then from that point, you are going to, each round, you're each going to select a a certain number of dice again based on the number of players in a two-player game you would each choose four dice okay and in this case what your what uh, impact that you have is you're choosing the colors so I can choose for all four orange dice I can choose you know three orange and one white um, or anything like that and I don't know what my opponent's choosing either so we don't know exactly what we're going to be looking for. If I choose this combo, I know that I want to make sure I look at this white die because, and, and make sure that there are other white die. If I choose four orange and my opponent chooses four orange and we toss those out at the same time, the first one to yell nada is going to win, right? Because there's no white dice. There's no other matches going to be possible. So it's kind of interesting and if one person did four of the same color and one person did white, that person knows that they did only one white so they're going to be ready to look for that white and then look for another ghost symbol. Um, anyway, so that's a fun little variant as well. So very, very fun, very simple, quick paced. Um, if you like uh, light, uh, you know, filler type dice games, it's a great little family game. Um, then I would go ahead and check out Nada by Blue Orange Games. Uh, good quality dice, uh, it has a good travel bag, um, and yeah, if I would recommend it to people who like dice games, um, uh, it's quick pace, so if, if you have our time kind of looking at the pictures or distinguishing the pictures, then it, it will be kind of difficult for you. But people who like fast-paced dice games like Tenzi or any of those others uh, would enjoy this game, I believe. So really fun. Nada by Blue Orange Games. Uh, the packaging will originally look like this with the bag inside. So go ahead and check it out.